Hey, how's it going everyone? Austin here from AppSheet Training, back for another daily no-code brief. And yesterday we left off um, talking about APIs and integrations and we kind of ran out of time um, as I was doing some troubleshooting. Again, just to set the stage, I do all this live and test all these um, tools out live. And so you're gonna see me uh, fumble a little bit sometimes. Um, so I appreciate the patience there. What I'm going to try to do today is keep this under 30 minutes. Um, and I do want to still emphasize that this is a live Q&A session. So if you have questions related to these topics or just related to business workflows in general, that's what these sessions are for. Um, so go ahead and leave your comments in the chat box. Um, and we have a team of developers here. Um, so if I can't answer your question directly, I can... Um, um, ask one of our expert developers here at Crew, and then we can get you your question answered after the call. Um, and then I'll post that in the comments section of this YouTube video. Um, and then alternatively, y'all can meet one-on-one -on -one with us as well. Um, and we can talk about your specific use case if that would be helpful. All right, so today we have our APIs and integrations. I have an update for y'all. So. Um, I have some lessons learned from yesterday that I'll share with y'all and what we're going to do with Pipe Dream today so that way we can get these API connections situated within AppSheet and connected to our Google Chat. Um, there is a simpler way to do all of this with the Google Chat app feature, um, which we're not going to talk about today because I do want to like wrap up what we did yesterday um, and make sure that y'all understand that. And then I also have our expression that we were gonna talk about at the beginning, um, getting the expenses for the current month. So I'll show y'all how to set that expression up and make sure that we're good there. Um, so again, um, leave a comment in the chat saying um, hi and what you'd like to learn about today and we'll get those on the screen and um, be ready to go for our session. So I will see you guys on the other side. All right. All right, well, welcome back. And like I said, today's session, um, we're gonna go over our general framework and then dive into APIs and integrations with AppSheet. Um, so our framework that we're using, again, we're gonna discover those use cases that we have in our business, figure out how to organize them, once you do that, we'll design um, the application and then we'll iterate based on user feedback um, and then we'll deploy that application and then repeat that cycle for the next workflow. Um, so if you're new to the channel and want a more in-depth thing um, about citizen development frameworks, be sure to check out our other videos there. Um, okay, so for our API steps, we are going to um, finalize that setup. Um, before we jump straight into that, I want to go ahead and show you guys the monthly expense report and how to pull um, that expression out here. Okay, so I'm back over here in my AppSheet apps. Um, and so we're in our expression editor, or sorry, our AppSheet editor. And what we need to do is come to our monthly summary report right here. And we're gonna go ahead and look at this PDF attachment. Um, so if you haven't seen what this monthly report looks like, I'll show it to you now. If you want a more in-depth tutorial about how to set up these, um, be sure to check out our previous videos there. Okay, so for this monthly report, you can view it by clicking that attachment settings there um, and just clicking view. And so I've cleaned up the report just a little bit, nothing too fancy here, right? Um, and so we've got our project name, budget, and everything there. Monthly expenses, we created these um, as virtual columns in our app sheet app. And then here is our select expression um, where we're pulling our month and our year um, to, to know um, that we're only pulling the current months um, expenses. And so the way that this works is you have your select expression and you're looking for your expense IDs and then you only want it to um, show expenses for this project if they are a 
a part of this month and this year. Okay. And so the way that you configure that is you use this and function right here. We have the month um, function um, that is creating this date time created into a month um, data type as well as month and then today. Um, and so it's looking at, okay, is this date time created? Is it within this month right here? And then the same thing here for the year and seeing if today's date is within that year because we can do, we can use this because this report is being scheduled at the first of every month. Um, and so that's how that would work. Okay. Um, and so it'll show those records for the month. Um, all right. Um, so if we go back here, we can just quickly save our changes there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull up over here my email so we can see this one in action. I'm gonna go ahead and run that um, report so y'all can see what it looks like. And let me get my email up here for you guys so y'all can see what these reports look like. All right. Okay, so moving this one back over here for y'all. Okay, so we can see that it sent us our monthly report for Project C, and it's for um, this date. So it just um, right here is just showing us um, today's date. Um, and then it says view your monthly report below. And if we click on this one, then we can see we've got the project, how much the budget was allotted, and the date time it was created and who it was created by. Then we have our summary of the spend and total expenses. And then down here, you can see that it's only showing us our um, uh, expenses for the month of August. Um, and so we have successfully gotten that um, select expression to work there for us. And um, just to dive into the data a little bit more, let's go ahead and look at the data set um, just to verify that that is correct. So if we open up our data section here and head over to expenses, we can see that we do have date times in July, um, but since we've created that select expression for the filter, it's only going to provide um, dates associated for the month of August. Um, and then if y'all um, need additional help with creating this expression, um, one trick, <clears throat> excuse me, one trick that we like to use in the office is copying this one and then creating a virtual column on the table that we're running the automation on. And so we can create an auto, a virtual column here and we can just call this test and we'll go ahead and um, open up the expression assistant. And this is just helpful for double checking your um, expression writing, making sure that it's all configured correctly. And so we have the select expression running off the expense table and we want to see um, these values here. Um, and then actually to test even further, we would want to put this on the project table um, since our, our scheduled report is running off the projects table there. All right, uh, but this expression is configured correctly. And so you can see the write up there um, in the expression assistant. Sweet, so check the box on that one. Um, Thank you guys that were on here yesterday for your patience and um, appreciate y'all hopping back on today um, to see that finished work there. Okay, um, now the next point that we need to do is we're gonna work on setting up our chat bot. Um, and so for this one, I'm heading over to our company account. Um, 
I think a couple of the lessons learned yesterday is one, I needed the proper account level to send chat notifications. Um, so that was one takeaway. And then the other one was the JSON object that I was using wasn't configured correctly. Um, so that was probably the main issue there. Um, so um, those have been configured now and we'll go ahead and take a look at how to set up these um, chat experiences with Pipe Dream. Okay, um, so first things first, we have to set up our bot and app sheet and um, you create your event, you can do a data change, ads only, and it should be an expense. Um, and then I created a trigger, but you can just set this to true. Um, and then down here, we can um, get the Google Chat link that is created via the webhook on Google Chat. Um, and then once we have that configured, then um, we simply put the pipe dream URL over on the Google Chat webhook. Um, and then that's how they communicate with each other. Um, and so every time we add a record to the expense table, it notifies that chat space. Um, and then your JSON body is gonna be another crucial part of this setup is you wanna make sure that you're using this text field right here. Um, Cause if you don't use this, um, then it, it can't send that message over cause it's sending columns um, instead of um, this as text. And so if we come over to our chat application, um, we can see that we sent a message from app sheet to chat and the project name was listed there correctly. Um, so maybe we don't just wanna send the project name, but we wanna send some additional um, values via Google chat. And so let's set the rest of this up now, um, as well as um, configure this just a little bit better for the specifications. And so y'all can see like from start to finish how that would work with pipe dream. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and click back to our pipe dream workflows here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a new workflow and we'll do the same thing. Um, add that trigger right there. Um, and then all of this you can leave as is save and continue. Now this is what you're going to put inside of your Google chat space. So we're going to copy this and we're going to head over to our chat and we're going to create a new space. Um, and we'll just call this space um, API test two. And we can go ahead and create that. And then next we'll click up here and do apps and integrations, manage webhooks. And this is gonna be app sheet to Google chat there. Now, remember we have our pipe dream um, URL pasted or in our clipboard. And so we're gonna copy that there or paste it there. And now we have the chat API that we're looking for to connect it to AppSheet. So we'll copy that one, head over to AppSheet. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna create a new bot here and I'll call it our bot app sheet to chat part two and then configure this event and from up here call it event um it's going to be um notify chat and this is going to be on the expense table and it will be ads only and the condition will be true. And we'll save that. Bypass security filters, just to verify there's nothing going on there. And let's see here. Um, and then I'm gonna create 
the custom step there. And then this is where I need to call the webhook. And it will be a custom one. That's good there. And then this is where we paste the Google Chat API right here. So I'll paste that one in there. The verb is we want to post it. And then here's where our JSON body comes into play. So I'm going to come up here and grab this JSON body that we have right here. Go ahead and copy it and paste it in there like so. OK. And then I think another thing that I want is our description and <clears throat> our um, and the amount that was spent. So I'm going to do a few enters there and just give myself some room. And I'm going to have um, expenses, or rather, um, description. And then I'll do my carrots. And this one is just going to be a um, text field on the expense table. So I can just copy that right there and paste that one in. And then same thing here. This one is going to be the amount column. And one thing that you can notice here um, as a difference from yesterday's session is this whole thing is getting um, put into these double brackets or quotes right here, double quotes, rather than each section being delineated by quotes. So we had to change this to text um, and then have everything be in quotes. Um, but we can still use dynamic data. So that's that's really great, um, which is what we want, or else the chat feature wouldn't make much sense. OK. And then the next part is we're going to get that amount value right there. So we can just copy that, <clears throat> that column as well. Don't have to do any dereferences like this one. OK. And so that should be set up nicely for us like that right there. And then we've got the chat um, set up for ads only. It's true. The next step, we have our URL in there. And what we want to send in the message is listed there. OK, so that should be good there. Um, if there are any hiccups, we'll take a look at the monitor, uh, take a look at the pipe dream setup and see if we missed anything there. All right. So what we can do now is head over to the project table again. And I'm going to start with project C. And I'll give myself some default values so those get added in for me. Um, and then I'll go ahead and click Add. And um, got those added there. Do a test. Office supplies. Payment method is cash and 50. And then we'll go ahead and save it. And then there we go. Um, as you can see, our chat worked. And we've got our app sheet to Google Chat, project name, um, project C, the description, and the amount. Um, and so what we might want to do is there's no spaces in between here. So we can clean that up real quick by making sure there are spaces. OK. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and open up this body again right here. And instead of spaces, I'm going to go ahead and put the this um, line right in here. Um, just to delineate that there is um, a, a space in there for us. OK, so we'll go ahead and save that one as well. All right. OK, so um, we'll do one more test here. I go ahead and add this one. And um, write another test, the vendor. Payment method, 
and 50. And we'll go ahead and click Save. And let's see how that one looks. All right, much better. All right, so I got the project name as a text, the project that we added the expense on, what the description of that was, and then the amount for um, the expense that was added. All right, and so um, the basic premise of this, um, like I said on, on my last one, is just making sure that those URLs can connect with each other. And so from the pipe dream perspective, you're just copying this URL and then coming over here to your API, um, or rather your Google chat, um, creating a new space, selecting the um, API integration that you want, manage the webhook, and then you can add one or you can edit it. Um, if you haven't started yet, you would need to add a new one, paste that in there. And then for AppSheet, AppSheet will need this um, URL. And so you copy this one and you head back over here to AppSheet and you um, do call a webhook and then your URL gets pasted right in here, okay? Um, and once you do that, you just make sure your JSON body is um, has a type text field um, so that Google Chat can uh, read that value right there for you. All right, and so that kind of wraps up the API connection there. Um, and so that is going to be a wrap for our session today. Just wanted to make sure I gave you all that update. I know these sessions have been a little bit longer um, than maybe um, has been hoped for. And so I'm hoping to narrow these sessions down, give you all the critical information that y'all are looking for. And if y'all have questions, um, make sure to put them in the chat and then I'll answer them either live on here or after the call, um, I'll be able to answer those for you guys. Um, so for a quick recap, we um, created an API integration with Pipedream AppSheet and Google Chat today. Um, and the basic premise of that is taking the Pipedream URL, adding it to your Google Chat um, webhook, and then taking the webhook from Google Chat and adding it to AppSheet. So really just two URLs is what you're going to need. And then making sure your JSON object is a type text if you're adding to Google Chat. Um, now, if you're a developer and you know how to configure these things already, um, then that's pretty self-explanatory there. Um, if you're a beginner and you're new to learning how to um, integrate these things with other tools, um, that's what this video was geared towards. Um, and so I hope this was helpful for you guys and um, y'all are able to um, kind of understand just the, um, the critical steps that you're going to need to build out these APIs um, for your AppSheet apps. All right, um, and so today we're kind of wrapping up our sessions for the week. Uh, we talked about integrating AppSheet with Google Sheets and beyond. Um, and then um, next time we'll talk about sharing those apps and how to collaborate with others on AppSheet. What are our best practices for that um, and um, all of those things. Um, so be sure to come back next time for that session. Um, don't forget to fill out the form if you're interested in our AppSheet Mastery Labs where we'll um, help you discover those frameworks that we were talking about or those use cases for your team. We'll help empower your team, give you expert guidance and actual insights on how to get the most out of the AppSheet platform. There's only 20 seats available, so make sure to sign up and fill out that form to get more information about that one. All right, so um, as always, the only way we can grow this channel and grow our, the no-code movement is with your you guys' help. So if you like this, please give us a like and subscribe and share this with your friends, your colleagues, um, if they need to know how to set up integrations via Pipedream and AppSheet um, and with Google Chat. Um, okay, and you can always register for our sessions over at appsheetraining.com slash live stream. You'll get access to the app, to my Google Slides presentation and a quick reference guide on how to copy it over to your um, AppSheet account. And then, um, Again, if you are interested in that AppSheet Mastery Labs, fill out that form and we'll get you set up um, for the AppSheet Mastery Labs. We also have Tech Talks available. 
So if you need to meet one-on-one -on -one with one of our AppSheet experts, feel free um, to book your Tech Talk today. They're free and you get expert advice on your specific use case and how our company can help you um, build out the solution if you don't have time or if you want some consulting to meet with our experts so that um, you're not twiddling around trying to figure out how to build it on your own, but you have expert advice on how to go from zero to 60 on your app sheet apps and get them um, pushed out in a timely manner. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate all of, the, all of those who attended. Um, thank you for your time, and I will see you guys on the next one. Y'all have a great day. Bye.